In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the WebEx Control Hub to migrate your enterprise phones to MPP firmware for the sole purpose of registering them to WebEx Calling. So first we're going to start with licensing, and then we will do a deep dive on how to use the Control Hub. Now there are two points I want to make about licensing, and that is number one, if you use the WebEx Control Hub to do the migration, then from a licensing perspective, you're required to use WebEx Calling. And number two, if you move off of WebEx calling to another third-party call control platform, then the Control Hub license will effectively expire and you will need to use a new license that you must procure for those phones. Now let's take a look at how we use the WebEx Control Hub to migrate your phones. In this short video, we will cover a new tool built inside the WebEx Control Hub. You simply click Migrations here on the left, and this will take you to a new wizard that will allow you to easily migrate from on-premises phones to MPP phones and get them registered to WebEx Calling. So there are three cards here. The first one is migrating Jabber to the new WebEx. That's sort of self-explanatory. The second card is what this video is going to focus on, which is migrating enterprise phones to multi-platform firmware. And then the third card is basically migrating UC Manager in its entirety to the WebEx Cloud. Now you can think of the second card as a subset of this third card. So this card is perfect if you have a bunch of phones that are, say, sitting on a shelf or in a lab and you want to migrate those phones and associate them to end users and put them into the WebEx Cloud. Now in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to use UC Manager to upgrade the firmware on the phones, but you could also use alternate TFTP or DHCP options using our cloud upgrader system. Having said all of that, the difference between the second card and the third card is that the third card is really for phones that are essentially in production and you want to migrate those phones that are in production and registered to UC Manager and migrate them to the WebEx Cloud, including information such as UC Manager device pools. Another thing I want to point out that is if you are familiar with upgrade.cisco.com, one big difference between upgrade .cisco.com and this tool is that the great thing about this tool is that it fully automates the licensing and eliminates the need to have to upload license files. That is a great feature of this wizard. So let's go ahead and click get started. And the first thing that we can see is there's basically two steps. Step one is to review the migration prerequisites. So that means preparing WebEx Control Hub, setting up PSTN, and then adding your users to the WebEx Control Hub using, for example, the directory connector. Once you've done that, you can then move on to step two, which is the firmware migration. So what we do is we click Start New Task, and then we give our task a new name. and then we'll click Next. There are two things that we need to do here. Number one is to export the user attributes. So this is going to contain things like the mail ID or the username. And then the second thing is to download the CSV template. So we need the template in order to populate it with things like MAC addresses and also the username that we got from the user attributes. So as you can see, this template will need to be filled out. And here you can see there are some example usernames. We also have users versus workspace. So the user would obviously correspond to a user and the workspace would be like a space for a lobby phone. The extension number is not needed except for a workspace, and I would also need the device type, so IP for phone. We would also specify the model number of the phone. We would also specify the MAC address, and then the location would be the WebEx calling location. 
So I already filled this form out, so let me pull that up. So I have my usernames, I have from the user attributes, I also have the type as user. I don't need the extension number if I am migrating a phone. I have the device type as IP, I have the model number of the phone, I also have the MAC address, and I have the location, which is the WebEx calling location. So let's go ahead and upload this. So I just click Upload. And then I click Next. So what it's doing now, it is looking at the actual MAC addresses and validating that they are eligible to be migrated to WebEx Calling. So we have some greens for the eligible devices and we have some amber indicating ineligible. So the 7975 is of course ineligible. So only certain models in the 7800 series and the 8800 series are eligible. So the 7900 series is not eligible. And then here for the 7821, this isn't eligible either. Now why is that? Well, the reason is the hardware revision. The hardware revision for the 7821 needs to be hardware revision 3 or higher. So that's why that is ineligible. The ineligible devices will not migrate as it indicates here. So let's go ahead and prepare for migration. And by clicking this, it'll prepare the three devices to migrate to WebEx. So now we see our status is in progress. So let's give this a few moments to process this. And now it shows ready with errors. So let's click on this and see what the errors are. So the error here is adding a device by MAC address is not supported for a user without WebEx calling service. So this individual does not have the service WebEx calling enabled. So we can fix that for that user. But for the time being, we're going to go ahead and migrate these two users where the WebEx calling service has been enabled for them. So we will click Complete Migration. So here we have some instructions about what we need to do. We need to download the files that we'll do in just a second by clicking Download Files. We need to make sure that all of our phone firmware versions are 12.51 SR2 or higher. We need to make sure that we're using a wired connection. So for the 8861 and the 8865, make sure that you have them connected to wired. And we need to log into UC Manager and take some appropriate steps. So I'm going to click Download Files. And this zip file contains all the information that we need. And here I will click the README file. And it basically says there's more information that we can read here. We can also see that there are essentially two options to choose from. One is using a load server in the cloud. That's what we'll show in this example. And then the other is to actually load the firmware onto UC Manager. You can use either method. So this is the link that I would follow to actually get the firmware that I need uh, to specify, as we'll show in a second. And then we also have to keep in mind that we have different firmware for different phone models. So the 88 XX covers the 8811, 4151, 61, and then we have separate firmware for our video phones, the 45 and 65, and then we have different firmware for the 7800 series, as well as the conferencing phones. Now we also have in here a list of our 88XX. So this are the two MAC addresses that we will actually load onto UC Manager. And again, if I had video phones or the 7800 series, I would have a list of MAC addresses for that. Now, in this example, we only have two MAC addresses, but it could be hundreds. So let's go ahead and follow the next step. So here I am in UC Manager. I go to Upload Download Files. And here is where I'm going to click Add New in order to import my file. So I choose the file that I had just exported from WebEx Control Hub and then I select the target. So the target says phones and then the next thing I will do is 
choose update phones, custom file, and then overwrite the file if it exists. I then click save. Now I go back into the bulk administration. I choose phones. I choose update phones and then custom file. And then now here is the MAC address that imported from the text document. I click next. So I'm going to select restart phones after we're done filling out this page. The next thing I want to do is select the phone load name. So I populate that phone load name and check the phone load name checkbox. The next thing I need to do is load server. So we're going to use a load server in the cloud called cloud upgrader dot webex dot com and then I select check the box for load server and then I want to run this task immediately and then I click submit now my phones that are registered to UC manager will automatically upgrade to MPP firmware so the device is now rebooting and as it initializes it will come up on this screen which is just the initial startup screen but it is going to pull its configuration from webex colony and it will continue to register to webex colony and it's just applying the last few pieces of the configuration and now it's rebooting and it's successfully registered and now if we go back to the webex control hub we have our two users here but I want to call your attention to the device status. They're both showing online because we have finished the migration. And let's just choose one user here. We will choose M. Velez. So I'll go to users. I will select the user M. Velez. And if we look at this individual's devices, we can see that the 8861 was successfully converted and it's online and I can see some additional information about this such as the MAC address and this matches the MAC address that is in the file that we uploaded to UC Manager. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much.